We know that in the morning round one, we had a total of 36 soul winners out, and we had a total of 39 salvations in the a.m. Praise God. Now, we, we, we learned that earlier, but then now, in the evening, in the afternoon, round two, we had a total of 35 soul winners. We had one person that had to leave after round one. And then we had a total in the afternoon of 40 salvations for a total all day of 79 salvations. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We also, if I'm not mistaken, we have some folks that are going to be getting baptized. Right? So I don't know if you all want to go ahead and uh, head out and kind of get changed over and ready for that while we're continuing on here. Do you know where they are? No, I don't even like him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't really have a sermon prepared, but I did let everybody know, like, to go ahead and maybe prepare something. We have some time for maybe like two, maybe three short, ten-minute sermons. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and read real quick out of Romans chapter ten. If you have your Bibles with you. Go ahead and open up to Romans chapter 10. Of course, everybody's uh, familiar with this passage. And I think today is probably just really like a, uh, uh, a really good example of what happens when this, this plays out. Looking at... Starting in verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And of course, we all know this passage. But the thing is this, is that you all have been sent. As soon as we put out the notice for the uh, soul winning marathon, you guys immediately saw the need and you stepped up to meet that need, right? right? We know that there is a need. We, I preached on it in Malawi. We said that we know that the situation is that the world is going to hell and somebody's got to step up and do something about it. You guys have taken to the call. You guys have stepped up and done something about it. Now, it could be that it's just today. It could be that you never come out ever again. I pray that that's not the case because I know, like Brother Jonathan was saying, it's like we're getting addicted to the ministry. Like Brother Rob was saying, he's addicted to soul winning. And that's just, eventually, that's where we all want to be, and where it becomes a way of life, where you start putting away the things of the world, and you start taking on the things of God. You start living for God more. You start living for yourself less and less, putting away those things that beset you on every side, all the sins, all the ways, all that kind of stuff that's basically gunking up your life. There was that verse in uh, 2 Timothy that says that no man that warreth or no man to go to the warfare uh, entangleth himself with the things of this world. So when I started thinking about that, just briefly, like being in Malawi, Brother Rod was with us in Malawi, Brother Kenton was with us in Malawi, Amen, and it's like, go over there and you pack as little as you can so that way you can have as many Bibles, as many flash drives, as many DVDs yeah. and CDs as you can, so that way you can get those things out to the people that actually need it. You know, we have that gift, we need to get that gift to other people so that way they can have it, and then they can use it, and then they can be edified by it, and they can turn around and give it to somebody else. Amen. And when you're there, uh, just like when we, my wife, my family, and I go to Mexico, we're there for maybe like a week at a time, two weeks at a time. Sometimes we're there for a month. I think the longest time, honey, what was the longest time that we were there? Two months. Like two months. You guys were there like maybe three months. Just living out of a suitcase. And my, my thought is, okay, we well just take enough clothes to be able to live for a week, and then you just wash them. And all the other stuff that's back of the house is just sitting there gathering dust. It's not doing anything. It's not profiting anybody. So why in the world do we need it? Yeah. Let's minimize. I mean, look. The Son of Man said he had not a place to lay his head. He had clothes on his back. He had the Word of God in his heart. And it came out of his mouth, and that's pretty much all that he needed. And that's really all that we Amen. need, because we know that God is going to provide all according to his riches and glory. Food and raiment is his promise. We, you know, Even if we don't have a place to lay our head, as long as we have the Word of God, he's promised us food, he's promised us clothing. As long as we are, are following on his plan, then we're going to be blessed. So the primary thing that we need to know 
is the plan of salvation, the gospel. And you guys know it. And for you guys that don't have it like locked in and down, today was another step towards that. Amen. Because yeah. you came out. Right. You were willing. You have obeyed the report. You came out and you, you you started to have beautiful feet. You know, the more walking we do, the more calluses we get, the more, you know, corns or bunions or whatever. But hey, <laughs> God says those are beautiful feet. Amen. Because Amen. they bring good news, glad tidings of good things. And Amen. that's what we need to be doing in the Christian yeah. life, like focusing on the things of God, putting aside the things of the world, and getting that message out to the lost, thinking and esteeming uh, others greater than ourselves. Amen. So I want to thank everybody sincerely from the bottom of my heart for you coming out and obeying the call. I wish we could have had more, but you know what? I'm thankful for the ones that did come out that did Amen. obey the call. Amen. Um, I don't know. I, I thought of coming up with maybe like a Richmond 2.0 because looking at the maps, we pretty much tore up everything that we had on the map today. I mean, I think we finished out We finished out all of Neighborhood 1 pretty much except for a couple of houses. Neighborhood 2, you guys like wiped the floor with it, right? Oh, yeah. And then Neighborhood 3, what do we have left after that? Anything? Now, who is it? You were telling me that you guys just like ran out of door stenox. You just started like spreading yeah, everywhere. Two, we were so we were so down with neighborhood two that we were just bleeding over into like a circular pattern all around it. I right. mean, houses on the side. We were chasing people across the street. I mean, we were going further than chasing people across the street. Into the across the street into the homes going down the lanes. I mean. There is so much work that was going on in the second house. You kept running it over, man. You kept running it over. So, guys, I want to say thank you. I hope it's not the last time. Some of you, it's the first time. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to organize a few more of these events so that way we can kind of get together again and do this thing again. But then also, as as you grow, for you new souls, to like downgrade our data plan or let's see where we can cut corners here and save some expenses there so that way we can save up for that plane ticket to get to you know wherever it is where the call has been made and where soul winners are supposed to go and where we're supposed to be sent out and where we're supposed to preach the gospel to every creature because you guys will obey when jesus christ said go therefore into all the world and preach the gospel to every Amen. creature you guys are here from all over Amen. so i'm thankful i'm eternally grateful and i know that the people that got saved today they're going to be eternally grateful amen, amen. 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 beautiful amen. gift that jesus amen. gave to them that you guys came bearing that precious seed. That's they right. may know that gift. Point them in that direction so that way they can have eternal life. Amen. Yeah.